everyone welcome to chaudhary data world channel today i am here with a new video in data modeling series that is dimensional data modeling this particular video is an introductory video on dimensional data modeling which is a very important uh, concept in whole data modeling series so let's get started with the video the very first question that what is data, dimensional data modeling even so it's a organizing and a structuring data of course data modeling is all together for that reason only that for, uh, data modeling is for organizing and structuring the data but the specific in dimensional data modeling is that it is more focused on analytical part that means if you want to query on frequent basis and have analysis and then reporting all these things it is uh, basically mainly focused on ol olap system that is for analytical system if you are not aware of olap system just go ahead and search for two things that is olap and oltp you will get to know that what is olap and oltp and then it this particular dimensional data modeling is more likely and focused on this olap system that is for analytical purpose this data uh, dimensional data modeling is there for now the another concept that what are the types of table even we are considering into the dimensional data modeling so there are basically two tables two type of tables you may say those are fact table and then dimension table so hold on you will get to know that what this fact table is and dimension table is so fact table is nothing but it's a primary table in dimensional modeling again it is dependent on dimensional table so dimensional table is the con which contains dimensions of a fact so you will better understand it by example suppose you are having a sales table this sales table is a fact table in which all the details regarding the sales has been uh, uh, um, stored there it might be the detail that which uh, which customer it is having uh, is in uh, having that particular sales that means whatever order has been executed in uh, for which customer it has been executed which sales persons have uh, has uh, sold that particular product so all these things are getting tracked and kept a record into our fact table which is basically you may say in this uh, in layman term this is a summary table in which we are storing our summary now the details are stored in separate separate tables that are suppose for sales table there are there might be the details like product which product has been uh, purchased into the sales it will be kept a record into it but about that particular product all the details will be in, in into some another table that what it the product is what its serial number when it manufactured when it's going to be expired so all these type of details it is getting captured into the another table that is product table so all those minute level details are getting captured into the dimension table which is a detailed table you may say and fact table is the summary of all together system so hope this is not clear to you that why we are even taking these two type of tables only you may see here that it is a primary table in dimensional modeling and it contains dimensions of a fact and example already i have covered now how these things are even mapped uh, visually so let's see by with this example so suppose you are having a fact table and there are multiple dimensions like uh, for the sales table you are having product order customer sales person etc all these dimensions all these tables will be visually mapped like this visually mapped like this it is a general example right now uh, general representation right now i am showing you now i am showing you one example that what um, more detail level example that how we can have this particular fact and dimension table uh, into our visual conception so suppose this is a fact table in which you are keeping a record of time key product key so you will not altogether keep your record of this is your sales table and in this sales table you are having different dimensions table that are store dimension clerk dimension whoever else promo dimension there are multiple dimensions right in sales table product dimension customer dimension register dimension all these things are getting captured into separate separate table on minute level now these minute levels are mapped to a summary table that summary table it is containing all the keys that now this uh, new concept come here that what this particular key it is called 
which is into this fact table. So this key is nothing but a foreign key to this particular dimension table. Hope you are getting it. That it is a, uh, it is termed as foreign key. So I definitely you can go and check out these type of uh, key concepts that are uh, for what is foreign key, what is primary key, and um, most probably you should be aware of these type of uh, concepts. But yeah, if you are not, you can go ahead by searching this foreign key, primary key, and all these concepts. These are very small concepts and also a very vital one. That means suppose if you are storing a, a, a reference number, you may say foreign key as in layman term you can you can call it as a reference number you are storing it into this fact table to this particular product table the, that is referencing to the uh, some particular row into the product table so it will product underscore key if suppose it is one so it will look for here that uh, here what the product key underscore one it will look up that particular thing into this particular uh, dimension table so this is how it is getting linked. So we, we are having a fact table in between. After that, we have multiple dimensions that are detail level tables we are having in the uh, means altogether in, uh, in, in our whole of the dimensional data modeling. After that, there comes a concept that what all steps of dimensional data modeling even are. How we can reach to build this particular, what you are uh, seeing it right now, this particular diagram. So how we will be end up we, uh, doing this particular one? So the steps uh, is something like that. This is the general step everybody follows that identify the business process that uh, it's uh, obvious, right? That you will be first finding out the business process. Within that business process, I have already covered up. There are, there are multiple diagrams we are having, ER diagram or data flow diagram. First, we will go through data flow diagram, then ER, flow, ER diagram. So all these, sound might be confusing and technical but you can definitely go and check out that video videos uh, which i covered in which covered up that er diagram and data flow diagram with which you will identify that business process on very minute level you will get to get to know that how this business is even working and what are the data flow and what are all the data points in the into the business process so those things you will be capturing and uh, this is only the first step that identify the business process after that identify the level of detail to be provided what all level of details suppose this is a fact table in this particular one there are different details right product dimension customer dimension these details so these details about these details you need to uh, research on that what all details we need to uh, provide into the whole dimensional modeling after that identify the dimensions identify the fact of course and then at last a very famous concept and which is a very viewed uh, means you may say it's a important concept into whole dimensional modeling is that building a schema i already covered up that what a schema is but yeah a schema you can term it like that if uh, suppose some data it is getting uh, organized the way it is getting organized it is called as a schema so there are different ways with which is the, uh, this whole data it is getting organized those are star schema snowflake schema galaxy schema so these schema right now i will not explain that how this schema is even working and how it is uh, um, capturing the data into different and how it is organizing the data into different different uh, you may say skeletons i will be explaining all these three schemas into some separate video where i will cover up all these three but this is a important concept where you will be learning that how your data should be organized and what should be the way to organize that data that ways are these three ways we can choose it basis of our requirement basis of our business need so uh, after that uh, uh, we are having a, a small more thing that is type of dimensions in data warehouse so there are multiple dimensions even into our data warehouse so there are approximately nine frequently used dimensions into our data warehouse that are confirmed or triggered uh, shrunken role playing all these things again this these are a uh, 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 big concepts or you may say different concepts uh, which i will be again covering up into separate video Do, uh, just stay tuned to the channel so that you can check out those videos here right now i have just mentioned that what all types of dimensions is are there into the data warehouse 
because if I will explain it right now, it, the go, video will go very long, which uh, it is not needed right now. So this was whole overview video on the dimensional data modeling that what it is, what are the types of uh, dimensions, what are the steps involved in the dimensional modeling, what is factable, what is dimension table, how both are related to each other. All these things we have covered up into this particular video. So hope you got it and thank you so much for watching the videos. Stay tuned to the channel for upcoming videos like uh, explaining, uh, I will be explaining star schema, snowflake schema and galaxy schema after that type of dimensions in data warehouse. All these I will be explaining into those videos. So stay tuned to the channel for upcoming videos. Thank you so much.